All right, guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we're going to be talking about two characters who shall be receiving their C90s alongside with No and Onion Knight, which is Sid and Sarah. Now, with these two characters, Sid is going to be getting his LD weapon finally and a rework, while Sarah, Sarah already has her LD weapon. So for players who missed out on her LD weapon previously, you now have another chance of picking it up but she is only going to be getting a rework. But is it actually worth chasing for either of these two characters with the upcoming uh, pair banners that are going to be uh, released with Divine Ifrit? Now, I did went ahead and put together some slides once again for you guys because you guys really do enjoy the slides and uh, I appreciate the feedback or the continuous feedback on the slides and whatnot and and it seems like it's it makes things a little bit more easier and understandable uh when i am talking about said characters which is a good thing because that's at the end of the day that's what i really want the most out of my uh, my videos and the slides especially so uh, i'm glad that they are helping out uh, a lot of people when it comes to uh, these videos but uh, yeah we're going to be talking about all of that we're going to look at the slides and then towards the end of the video i'll let you guys know whether or not it is actually worth pulling for any of these two characters so as always, if you guys do enjoy the video, consider liking the video and subscribing for future Opera Omnia content. Let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. Let's talk about Sid, Sarah, and then whether or not it is worth pulling for them. So let's first start off with Sid's rework. So his skill 1 now lets him deal 80% splash HP damage. His skill 2 becomes a 4-hit wind ranged brave plus an HP attack 2 times. His EX ability. So with his EX extension, it makes his attack deal full HP damage and also becomes AOE. It also inflicts wind resist down for six turns after his first HP attack. His C65 extension adds a 35% attack up now being a total of 50% and also adds brave damage cap up by 40% or Sid will be able to do up to 13,000 998 now Sid's LD ability is a pretty good LD ability because of course I mean Sid is a, a straight up damage dealer I mean he impels uh, himself uh, he, he impels the enemy he enchants himself with a uh, wind and chat making him uh, easily dealing that weakness damage uh, onto the enemy so uh, with Sid's LD ability though it's a one hit distributed wind ranged brave plus an aoe hp attack nine times now that one hit distributed basically means that it, it'll just like attack uh any of the targets really like it, it'll distribute the amount of brave hits uh between whatever amount of targets it is that you are going up against whether it be two three and so on and so forth which i think it's only been up to three so far uh so he also recovers brave in between hp attacks except for the last and deal split HP damage to all targets. He also inflicts the wind resist down to all targets after the first HP attack. So he's pretty much like like guaranteed to always be always Im imperiling the enemies every single time he attacks with most of his abilities. Now, with this LD ability, he does gain a new overhead and whenever you use this LD ability, he grants one stack of this new overhead. Now with this overhead, high wind take to the skies, it gives them the following things. Wind enchant by 20%, HP damage up by 20%, attack up by 40%, stolen max brave overflow by 30%. It triggers the bombs away follow up attack while at three stacks after any party action except for his and it increases whenever uh sid is attacking a target now the bombs away follow-up attack increases the party's brave by 100 percent of his of their attack excuse me and then follows up with a two hit distributed wind ranged brave plus an aoe hp attack six times and this does deal splits HP damage. And once again, uh, it does inflict the wind resist down to all targets for six turns after his first HP attack. And then it does consume two, two out of the three stacks for his overhead. And uh, again, to increase it, you have to let uh, Sid uh, attack a target and it'll go up by one. 
So now we move into Sarah's rework. Now, Sarah's rework didn't get too much, sadly, and I'm a little disappointed that they didn't really give her as much as I was expecting her to have uh, when she finally uh, got all of this in JP. So with a skill one, the skill one deals two brave hits, but it still deals only one HP attack in her attack and now has 150% stolen max brave overflow. The plus version has two more brave hits now being four and has two HP dumps instead of one that increases the party's brave by 20% of the HP damage dealt. And this also allows for 150% stolen max brave overflow. And it did get an additional two uses. Now with a skill two, a skill two is now three brave hits. I made a small typo there. Um, allows for 150% stolen max brave overflow. And the attack down debuff that she inflicts is now a 70% attack down. Now the plus version is a two hit AOE magic brave plus an AOE HP attack three times. It allows for 150% stolen max brave overflow. She increases brave by 20% after each HP attack except for the last. She also increases the party's brave by 20% of the HP damage dealt after her last HP attack. Her LD did get a rework as well. So her LD inflicts a 70% attack down instead of the previous 20% attack down. Her attack now deals a four hit AOE plus an AOE HP attack four times that increases brave by 20% of the HP damage dealt after each HP attack. Her debuffs now become framed and debuffed Tears of Hope now extends inflicted debuffs by three turns, and the party now gets a 50% brave damage up and a 25% HP damage up. Those are some really good percentages for the brave damage up and HP damage up. They are almost as close as some of the BT unit, if not the same as some of the BT units' uh, uh, effects. Uh, not entirely the same thing but they come very close now with an ex extension and now extends the brave gain to the party and increases it to 150 percent of their attack then she deals a four hit magic brave plus an hp attack two times and that's it that's uh, her ex even though she does a uh, battery the power of the power the the party uh, before she deals an HP attack, I kind of feel like it's not really enough. Like, I feel like they could have gone a little bit more with her uh, EX extension. Afterwards, she does increase the party's brave by 50% of the HP damage dealt. Her EX buff also increases her attack by 60%, now being at 80%. And then finally, her C65 extension got extended by two turns, now being seven turns. She also adds the following things whenever you use a C65. So for the party, the party gets a stolen and gained max brave overflow up by 10% and also gets a brave gains up by 10%. So now we get to the point in the video where you guys decide whether or not it is worth pulling for Sid or Sarah's LD weapon with the upcoming two banners. Now with Sid, Sid gets some big upgrades with his LD ability, with his EX extension, making him and those two abilities a very strong heavy damage dealer. Now his skill one and skill two, they're not really all that. I mean, yeah, the 80% splash HP damage and the extra HP dump on his skill two, you know, it's something, right? But uh, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like really the main thing you're gonna be focusing on with Sid is going to be with his EX ability and with his LD and the overhead and the follow-up attack that only kicks in uh, with your allies after they, you know, deal their uh, abilities and whatnot, whatever it is that they are doing, right? So right there and then, just just knowing the fact that that since we're not going to be using his uh, his skill one and skill two, uh, probably hardly ever, it is probably good to pair uh, Sid with a character that is able to speed up his. Uh, his EX recast gauge or characters that is able to give you that instant access to uh, a character's EX ability. So, uh, you know, one that comes to mind is Ash. There are a few other characters that do increase uh, the EX recast gauge a little bit. Um, I know that there is a character coming up this month uh, where 
they provide some very good ores and at the same time give also gives you that instant access to their uh, to a player to a character excuse me or teammates uh ex ability which is uh, uh what is it lloyd lewd however however it is that you pronounce his name i don't know exactly how to pronounce it um but uh, you know he is a very good character to pair with sid but uh, just knowing the fact uh that with sid really all you're going to be focusing on is really his ex and his uh his ld ability right there and then you already know that he is a straight dps character uh and a very good one at best uh for his initial release now i mean he does does he definitely does have his uses uh for the next couple of lufenios but uh, other than that I, I feel like later on hopefully they'll give him another rework where he'll be able to deal uh more brave damage and more potency uh in his kit so that that way he can be on par with a lot of the other characters that are currently out in jp but as of right now though if you are needing a strong uh, I, in my opinion, he is a strong uh, DPS character that only focuses via his LD and his um, his EX ability. Uh, then uh, Sid is definitely not a bad option at all. I mean, you can easily do some pretty good numbers uh, with Sid. Now with Sarah, though, Sarah, in my opinion, the rework that she got, it, oh my God, like, like, look, I'm not, I don't want to make myself sound like I am picking one over the other in this video, but like Sarah's rework. In my opinion, it was not really all that. The only thing that actually saves her from me being like, okay, just straight up skipper is the fact that she does get an upgrade uh, to the brave damage up increase and the HP damage up increase uh, via her uh, her LD buff. So, uh, I mean, she does have uh, some usage uh, in her kit. I mean, she does battery the party uh, with some of her skills. She is able to inflict uh, some, what, like four, three or four debuffs. One of them being like poison, max, max brave down. And I forget what the other one is. I attack down. Um, so, I mean, she does have her uses, but if you want me to be 100% honest with you guys, seeing as how, uh, especially later on in the future, even though we are in like the quote unquote uh, garbage time that a lot of players have been uh, mentioning or that I've been hearing around, um, I feel like after a very short while, she's probably gonna be benched uh only because there are gonna be some other characters uh, coming up very soon that will easily over uh overlook her uh, like overtake her over whatever um in terms of what they actually provide to the party where they um provide a whole lot more even though don't get me wrong like i said earlier in the video that percentage that you got with the brave uh damage increase and the hp damage increase is very good percentages uh, for what they gave us so like that's really the only reason that i would say that you know if you got extra tickets or if she's a favorite i would say you could probably throw some tickets at her but uh, other than that i already have an ld weapon so i'm not too worried about it but uh outside of like the ifrit fight it's like mm, i think i'm going to stick around with like like uh my other support units and uh, not be too concerned with uh sarah so and again, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm picking or I mean, it probably does sound that way, but I really am not. I'm just being 100% honest uh, with you guys. As much as I did enjoy Sarah way back in the day, uh, I'm not too impressed with a rework. Uh, and really, the only thing that saves her, in my opinion, is that brave damage up percentage and the HP damage up percentage. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, how do you guys feel about both of these two characters with the upcoming banners? And uh, yeah, with that being said, if you guys do enjoy the video, consider liking the video and subscribing for future Opera Omnia content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.